In the previous two videos I showed how to use a self-made lifting magnet to engrave metal. To see what commercial lifting magnets are good for, I bought a rather cheap one. Disadvantage number one, the anchor is anything but free of backlash. Disadvantage number two, a specified current of 1 Amp at 12V turns out to be only 770mA with a falling tendency during operation as the coil wire heats up. Nevertheless, the lifting magnet initially works quite well as a Wagner hammer. After a few seconds, however, no more sparks can be seen. In the previous video I had already shown that the current should be well above 1 Amp in order to produce consistent engravings. I could now start modifying the device until it works properly, but I won't, because with similar effort I can put together a Wegner hammer from my scrap box. The corresponding instructions are on my website. I also have DC motors in one of my scrap boxes. What is needed is a motor that draws a stall current of significantly more than 1 Amp at the intended direct voltage without ending up in magic blue smoke. The first motor I choose draws a current of 300mA at 3.3V when the shaft is blocked. Six hundred fifty milliamps at five volts, and a current of two amps at twelve volts. Here too, you can see that the displayed value decreases as the measurement progresses because the enamel copper wire inside the motor heats up. For a first simple conversion of the motor to a Wegner hammer, I have glued a 3mm threaded rod to the shaft at which the electrode wire can be clamped. A wire leads from this threaded rod to one terminal of the motor, the second terminal is connected to ground or the power supply. As is usual with the Wegner hammer, the electrical circuit is closed via the workpiece as soon as the electrode touches the material surface. The motor must be connected so that the electrode is then raised. At the other end of the threaded rod, a piece of steel wire ensures that the electrode is lowered to the mechanical stop when no current flows through the motor windings. As you can see, the DC motor works as a Wagner hammer, here on 12V DC to achieve a current of more than 1 Amp. The sparking is a little weaker than I would have expected given the stall current measured, but at least the motor doesn't end up in smoke during the engraving process. The motor is operated in a mode for which it was never designed. The motor is constantly starting but only rotates for a fraction of a degree and is then moved back by the spring. The rotor never actually rotates. A too high current flows through the windings and cooling by a rotating rotor is completely missing. After the 5 minute engraving, the motor housing is not excessively hot and no smoke rises from the inside of the motor. The engraving is not too deep, but clearly visible and the lines have been transferred to the metal disc without interruptions. Short horizontal lines can be seen at the small circles. By attaching the electrode to a rotating lever, it inevitably moves in a horizontal direction along the surface whenever it is raised or lowered. The next electric motor draws a stall current of 700mA at 3.3V. 
1.2 amps at 5 volts... ...and 2.8 amps at 12 volts... To prevent sideways movement when lowering the set axis, I use a breast tube to guide the wire. This is squeezed at the bottom so that the 0.2mm wire can move only in longitudinal direction without much friction. As before, a piece of spring wire causes the hammer to be pushed down to the mechanical stop when no current is flowing through the motor windings. With this motor I noticed how important the adjusted spring tension is and that the system must move with as little friction and as little backlash as possible. During the first attempts, the motor vibrated strongly and was therefore unusable for engraving. The downforce of the electrode will rise with the height of the set axis of the CNC which can be seen and heard. If everything is set correctly, this motor also works as a Wegner hammer at 12V. The sparking is rather weak and the higher stall current is not really noticeable. The engraving is even less deep than with the previously used, smaller motor. However, the engraved lines are at least visible. The third engine in my test series is also the most powerful. This draws a current of 2.7 Amps at 3.3V... Seven point two amps at five volts, and a scary fifteen amps at twelve volts. I do the first engraving with three point three volts. After the engraving started, you can see that the sparking is not too powerful. Nevertheless, the DC motor works reliably as a Wegner hammer even with the lowest voltage my computer power supply delivers. The resulting lines are very finely engraved and can only be seen in grazing light. So, up with the voltage, I do the next engraving with 5 volts. The powerful sparks can be clearly heard. The engraving can be seen even under the water jet. The result is the best of all my experiments with Wegner hammers so far. The lines are very deep but at the same time smooth and quite narrow. The two closely spaced ovals on the penguin's pupils can be clearly seen. For engraving with 12V, I had to do a couple of experiments with the spring tension until I found a setting that didn't cause the motor to vibrate too much. All in all, too much electrical power is used for engraving with a 0.2mm wire.
I had to lower the Z axis of the CNC by hand during engraving to compensate for the electrode wear. The next weak point is my power supply which always shuts down after a while because of the high current. Ok, that's obviously too much power. But you can see that the lines are even deeper than with 5 volts. By adjusting the voltage, the depth of engraving can be easily controlled. As the next upgrade I will develop an active control system for the engraving process. The wire feed will be controlled with the microcontroller so that electrode wear is automatically compensated for. And anyone who would like to support me in my efforts to further develop spark erosion in my own special way can purchase a Homo Fasciens coin on my website and thus get a precise impression of how well the engravings are carried out. Many thanks to all the great people who have already invested in my projects via this hard currency. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.